Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to make that AI character hear us when he when we are trying to approach him from the behind. Uh, for now what we have in the last episode what we did we did was whenever this character see us he will reach us like this and so this time what I am going to show you is how to make this guy hear us so yeah I'll try to reach him from the behind and wait like this right now when he hear us he is coming to me right so that's what I'm going to show you today all right okay so first in order to make this enemy hear something I should make some noise so in my human character I have already implemented the footsteps let's check where did we implement that I think I implemented them in here on animations yeah this one footstep L and footstep right R so these are animation events and I have them right here see so we did implement them in a previous episode you can refer to them if you are not sure but anyway that is actually pretty simple so what I have done is I have added a animation notifier here as footstep L and footstep R uh, so according to the footstep places and we can access these animation events uh, inside the animation blueprint like this so for each uh, footstep event I have called footstep function which is implemented in BP character or oh, whatever the character class that is driven by this BPA human or oh, blueprint anim animation blueprint and this is the human class and here I have under sounds and effects I have this footstep function so here I need to add the noise part so in unreal we have make no pawn make noise let's try this method and for the noise location I'll just give the actor location and as the noise maker I'll get this object self and loudness actually there should be another here yeah, let's try this one because this one has a range as well right let's see as the distance I'll put 500 as the location I'll put this one the actor location and yeah the noise setup part should be okay now let's see I'm not really sure and now we have to de do the hearing part so we have to implement that in our AI character AI blueprint which is this one 
in here under AI perception I have this site config already implemented and I let uh, here in config as well okay I'll I think I'll leave the default settings and on no oh, so how can I access this hearing config Maybe I'll just create or duplicate this one and I'll name this site and I'll remove this config from that and I'll name this hearing. Maybe there is a better way to do that other than having two perception components but I don't know. Let's try this way. okay and this is from on AI perception side part so I'll collapse this one and put site add a comment as well and make it tabbed so pinned so that I can see it properly right Next thing is I'm going to add uh, on target perception update event for this one as well and just like we did here I'll use the same stuff is enemy right that would be all for now and instead of seen I'll put heard let's see if uh, if this if this heard part works if this if the hearing works before getting to the other parts right so I'll start from the back side of this character so he does not see me and I'll move No, it doesn't seem like he is hearing anything. Right. Let's see what's wrong. I have added this AI perception stimuli source and maybe I have to add a uh, hearing uh, yeah hearing as well here so this is uh, registering this character as a sight stimuli source and a hearing stimuli source right now let's see no maybe something wrong with the way I used this method target is make noise max range 500 let me check one more thing so in order to site to work we have to enable all these three so maybe we have must do that here as well right please work still ah yeah now they now this guy is hearing me yeah at here he's hearing so let's increase this range a little more I'll put thousand right uh, 
okay now he's here in me so now let's make this guy when he heard us and if it is an enemy let's make him look at this look at us so move to us so just like we did in with the site and uh, how can we what is the better way to do this well let's do it like this Here, let's uh, create a new variable called scene. So, because uh, if the character has already seen us, then this hearing sh should not do anything because otherwise, uh, this we would have weird results. So, I'll make this scene true here and let's make this uh, hearing to work only if we haven't seen the enemy character yet like this branch to branch and put C if it is not seen yet, if this scene is false, he will try to reach whatever the location of that sound this guy heard. So, stimulus location, we can use this one for that. And yeah with the go to location right so if this is an enemy i'll put a branch and go to location and get this stimulus location so whenever this guy is trying to reach that location he will definitely see us then this this part will be executed right let's see so, okay right he saw us he heard us and came to us let's try again okay right he heard us it's working now so what more can we do okay i think that would be enough for today so in the next time let's work on let's give this player character the ability to sneak up to him uh, without being heard like when he's crouching he should not make any noises and otherwise he should make noises if it is running or just normal working walking and right let's continue to improve this in the further tutorials all right see you in the next video goodbye